fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust and a hearty hi yo silver, the Lone Ranger. Whenever a man was wrongly accused of a crime in the early days of the Western United States, his first hope was that the Lone Ranger would hear of it. The masked rider of the plains put justice above the letter of the law, and his courage and resourcefulness saved many innocent men. Return with us now to those thrilling frontier days when adventure lay at the end of every trail. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Hello! Two young men stood side by side in a small camp a short distance from the town of Marshall. One, his face lathered, was shaving. His grinning companion held a cracked mirror and... (laughs) Don't forget your chin. You can't say much for this old razor of yours. Getting it off all right? Mm, Fair to Midland. Uh, you'll do, I reckon. Hand me that towel. Yeah. Here you are. Golly, how I hate to shave. <laughs> I'd rather wrestle steers any day. <laughs> yeah. Now, let me have that glass, huh? Let me see how we look together. Sure. Well, don't that beat all. Look at us. I never seen you before this morning, and you never seen me. I come from Wyoming, and you from Arizona. I never been in this part of the country, and from what you say, you ain't been here since you was knee high to a tadpole. <laughs> That's right. But to look at us, you think we was identical twin brothers. I knew it the second I laid eyes on you. Told you you'd see it for yourself once you've got that crop of whiskers shaved off. <laughs> Maybe I better tie a string around my finger. <laughs> that way, I'll be able to tell us apart. I'm likely to forget and think I'm you. <laughs> <laughs> no harm in that. That's just what I want you to do. Uh, your folks ain't going to get mad. Oh shucks, they'll just think it's a good joke on them once they learn the straight of it. Yeah. You just got your pa and a sister living, huh? Uh Uh-huh. Pa's name is Lige. My sister is Jenny. She ought to be quite a girl by now. Pa, he's getting along in years. And they ain't seen you for how long? Hey, you ain't let slip all them things I told you, have you? No, I reckon not. I just wanted to check up and see that I had it all straight. Uh, It's been 15 years. I went up the trail with a trail herd and I never come back. Wrote to him once in a while, but that's all. You'll be able to fool him easy. I'm willing to give it a trial anyhow. How soon will you be along? Sometime tomorrow. You're willing to trust me with all this cash? <laughs> I mean, brother, you kept it and gave it to him yourself. No, you give it to him. That'll make him think you're me for sure. I can trust you. If you wasn't straight, you'd be anxious to take the cash, not trying to get out of it. <laughs> Shucks, you can trust me all right. The only thing is, I, I feel awful bad if I was held up first or something. Oh, oh, don't worry. I'll get your horse. I saddled him while you was eating. You riding a ways with me? Yeah, a little ways. Far enough so she won't take the wrong fork in the trail. Here you are. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Well, here's for it. First, just one thing. Yeah? You say your handle is Dave Williams? Mm-hmm. Well, from now on, don't even think of yourself by that name. You're Rusty Baylor, Savvy. Forget about Dave Williams and keep in mind you're Rusty Baylor. You won't be so likely to make mistakes. I'll try. Good enough. Let's go, then. Get up, boy. Get along, Come on. Get along, Who 
silver for both. Scout. Oh. You were right, Hunter. I never in my life saw men who looked so much alike. Ah. I wouldn't have believed it possible if I hadn't seen it for myself. It heaps strange. So they plan to play a joke on Rusty's folks, huh? Mm, that's what them say. I wonder. What matter? I wonder if it is just a joke. Dave Williams, masquerading as Rusty Baylor, made his way to the Baylor Ranch House, where he was received as a prodigal son. Large Baylor, old and ailing, was all smiles, his son's long absence forgiven. Jenny, a pretty young woman, could not do enough to make the man she thought her brother comfortable and... Rusty, do have some more of these dumplings. They turned out special good. Why, you haven't hardly eat a thing. Gosh, Jenny, my stomach wouldn't hold another bite. <laughs> Too glad to be home again for an appetite, huh, Sam? Yeah. Yeah, that's it, I guess, Pa. <laughs> well, if you ain't changed too much since you're a young'un, I allow you'll be eating healthy again afore long. <laughs> My, how you did stow it away in them days. Rusty. Huh? You, you haven't told us much yet about what you've been doing all these years. Oh, nothing very interesting. You speak up, boy. It don't have to be exciting to interest us. Mm, well, I've been punching cows mostly. Just wandering around, working for a spell, and then moving on. And you saved all that money you brought us just out of wages? Well, it did have me a little spread for a while. Didn't amount to much, though. I wish you hadn't sold it, Rusty. You shouldn't have, son. I reckon the banker would have waited a mite longer before asking for his loan. (laughs) Great day. He's been waiting long enough. I was glad to be able to help. Sure, sure. I know it, son. I appreciate it, too. Me and Jenny both. Huh, Jenny? Of course, Pa. Only thing is, it always seems hard when old folks have to call on the young'uns. That's all. Ain't fair to a young fella like you, Rusty, that's trying to get a start in the world. No, it wasn't nothing. Now tell us more about yourself. You, uh, you said you were in the panhandle for a while? Yeah. I... Now just sit still. I'll get it. I wonder who that can be. Oh, Sheriff, good evening. Good evening, Jenny. Howdy, lie. Come in, Sheriff, come in. Here's Rusty back home. Come in and set. I can't lie, Jane got the time. Heard Rusty was here, though. Mind stepping out here for a word, Rusty? What? Well, I guess not. Ain't jailing him for stealing them apples from the sky, pilot, back in the days he skipped school, are you? Oh, no, Blige. Reckon any charge 15 years old would be outlawed by now. I won't keep the boy for long, Lige. I see that you don't. What's the matter, Rusty? Gosh, I don't know. Come on outside, Rusty. Sure. What's this about, Sheriff? Shucks, Rusty. Ain't no use your pretending with me. Hmm? Pretending? Well, what do you mean? This is far enough. Just didn't want your paw to hear what I had to say. You know, Rusty, your paw and me have been right good friends for near a score of years now. I'd sure hate like blazes to have to do anything that'd hurt him. Well, just what are you getting at? Didn't think they'd send a reward notice clear up here, huh? Reward notice? Well, you're local. Look, Rusty. If it had just been a hold-up or something like that, why, well, I reckon we'd never have heard of it. But you should have had sense enough to know a killing is some ways different. Killing? You could make it a heap easier if you'd quit playing innocent. But I don't know what you're talking about. Honest to gosh, I don't. You can't get out of it. I got the reward notice on my desk right now. Never showed it to anybody because I didn't want your paw to know you'd joined a wild bunch. Wait, Sheriff. I... No, you just listen to me for a second. Rusty, your paw ain't got long to live. He's hoped for a long time that he'd see you again before he died. Well, I'm willing for you to visit for a while. I ain't even going to tell what I know. But you'll be watched every second. And if you try to slip away, why then, no matter where you are, who'll know about it, I'll have to arrest you. Now, think it over. You can't get away, and maybe for your paw's sake, you'll kind of cooperate with me, huh? Sheriff, this is one of the dirtiest sneaking tricks I ever heard tell. Now, don't blame me for doing my duty. Blame yourself for turning bad. Oh, that doesn't mean what I mean. No? I ain't Rusty Baylor. You... Come on now, Rusty. You expect to crawl out that way? No, listen to me. I met up with Rusty this morning. He seen how much I like he looked, and he said he wanted to play a joke on his folks. Gosh, I see it now. What a doggone fool I was. He knew he was wanted and schemed to get me caught in his place. Why, that dirty... I ain't got the patience to listen to lies. But recollect what I told you. Steady there. You're being watched, young fella. And that ain't fooling. Get up. Get along there. Get along. Good Lord, no, what a lad. Huh? Oh, it's you, Jenny. I heard what the sheriff said, Rusty. I heard it all. You heard? Please don't be mad at me. I, I just knew something was wrong. I had to find out what. I didn't say anything to Paul. He won't know, Rusty. Jenny, 
you got to believe me, even if nobody else does. Just tell me you didn't kill anyone, Rusty, and of course I'll believe you. I'll help you get away, too. I don't know anything about that. I, oh, I hope, like the blazes, your brother wasn't mixed up in any such thing, but, but it's the truth that I ain't him. Rusty. My name's Dave Williams. If, if it really is... I'm not lying. If, if you are, I can tell. Huh? But please, if you are, Rusty, tell me the truth. Jenny, I, I couldn't lie to you. Rusty had a, had a birthmark. He did? On his forearm. His left forearm. Almost the shape of a clover leaf. That couldn't be changed. And, and if I haven't got it, you believe me? Oh, yes. Well, then look here. Just wait till I get my sleeve rolled up. There. Can you see? Wait. It isn't there. You're not Rusty. I wish I could prove it to the sheriff just as easy. Oh, but you can, don't you see? I'll tell him about the birthmark. You can show him you haven't got one. Then he'll have to admit you're not the man he wants. No, Jenny. It won't work. But... Just think it over. What do you figure he'd say if we went to him with any such story? He'd laugh in our faces. He'd figure just a poor trick to fool him. Oh, I suppose. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, Dave, I'm so sorry. Truly, I it's, am. It's kind of tough lines on you, too, Jenny. I mean, learning this about your brother and all. Poor Rusty. But I was afraid. I, I guess I've always been afraid. We hardly ever heard from him. Never saw him. Oh. Huh? What's the matter? That money, the money you brought us to pay off the loan. Was it yours? No. Rusty, give me that. Well, then, then it may have been stolen. Golly, that, that's something I never thought of. Oh, what'll we do, Dave? Well, right now, honey, I, I mean, Jenny, right now I don't know what we can do, except for two things. Yes? Keep all this from your pa. Oh, of course. And hope that Rusty will show up tomorrow like he said he would. Only... Yes, I know. I'm afraid he won't. I'll see who was that? Search me. Likely one of the fellas the sheriff must have set to watch me. The Lone Ranger brought his mount to a rearing stop at the small, well-hidden camp where Tonto waited for him. Oh, oh, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh, Tonto, call scout. Oh, what matter? Don't ask questions now. I'll explain as we ride. Here, Scout. Let me get saddled. No, this time you'll have to ride bareback. We have to whack fast. Uh, where we go? Back to the camp where we saw those two men today. We're going to try and follow a trail at night. Come on, Get him up, Scout. Hail Silver! Away! It was later that night that Jenny Baylor stole through the house toward the room where Dave slept. She knocked on the door cautiously and... It's me, Dave. Jenny, I, I have to talk to you. Well, just a second, Jenny. Hurry. I'll be right there. Well, Jenny, what is it? Hey, what have you got there? Dave, listen to me and don't argue. You've got to get away. You can't be hung or, or jailed for something you didn't do. Well, the sheriff said he'd be watching. But surely he wouldn't watch very careful the very first night. Here, here's some food to take with you and, and an extra gun and, and money. Oh, Jenny, Don't I... argue with me, Dave. Please don't. Go now. Go while you still have a chance. The longer you're here, the closer you'll be guarded. Jenny... Yes. Does, does it mean anything to you whether they catch me or not? Oh it, oh, it does. And if I should be able to come back someday with, with proof of who I really am, proof that the law will have to accept, would you... Would... Yes, Dave. Oh, then give me those things right now. Outside the Baylor Ranch house, the sheriff had hidden himself in the shadows. Beside him stood a deputy. He ain't likely to try anything tonight, Sheriff. Uh-huh. But maybe that's just the way he'll figure I figure things. And if he does, uh -huh. we'll grab him. What's that? Wait. Somebody coming down the porch. And stay into the shadows, too, by gravy. Is it him? I... Jake, it is. Why, the dirty sneaking killer. Just let him get away from the house over to the corral where he's heading. Yeah. I give him his chance. I know you did, Sheriff. But he wouldn't take it. Well, when I say the word, throw down on him. And if he goes for his guns, don't wait to argue. Shoot. Come on, he's at the corral now. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
continue our story. The sheriff and a deputy watched Dave Williams as he stole towards the corral and his horse. Thinking him Rusty Baylor, against whom there was a charge of murder, the lawmen crept towards the fugitives. Watch out he don't see us too soon. He's getting his rope ready to toss a loop on that mare of his. Better grab him. Yeah. All right, Rusty. What, what you didn't think you could get away with it, did you? Sheriff, give me a chance. I ain't Rusty, I tell you. You gotta let me get word to Wyoming to prove it. What you mean is give you a month's time to figure some way of getting loose. Nothing doing. You had your chance and threw it away. I tried to be easy on you for your poor sake. But I'm the law and I've got my duty. You're coming along. There ain't no use arguing, I suppose. None at all. Tomorrow we take you into the county seat. There's a United States Marshal waiting for you there. Put the cuffs on him, Jake. Right. That'll hold the skunk. It's sure a doggone shame that a fine fellow like Lige has to have a no-good son like you, Rusty. Uh, just forget the talk and take me into jail. Might as well get this over with. Now come along. The horse is over there. You and Jake can ride double. Dave, Sheriff, wait. Jenny, why in blazes did you have to show up? No, Sheriff, you can't take Dave. You just can't. Dave? Huh? Did he take you in with that story of his? Sheriff, I know he isn't my brother. Rusty had a birthmark on his arm. Dave hasn't. Isn't that true? Oh, Jenny, you're a mighty fine girl. I don't say that if I was in your place with someone I thought a lot of about to be jailed, I wouldn't stretch the truth a little myself. But it just won't wash, Jenny. You can save your breath. Dave, Dave. There, Jenny. Don't take on so. Oh, I, I can't help it. You are a killer. I know you are. Oh, they can't take you. You'll get a fair trial, Jenny. You'll get a chance to tell his case in court. Oh, it's been so unfair. Look, Jenny. Yes? We don't want your paw hurt. None of us do. You tell him when he wakes up in the morning that I, well, I got a message. A message saying I was needed real bad someplace. Any place will do. You You just tell him what you think best. You, you won't tell Paul any different, Sheriff? Why, shucks, no. Of course I won't. And neither will Jake. Leastways, not if he aims to hang on to that deputy's badge of his. I won't say a blame word about nothing. Thank you. G- goodbye, Jenny. Goodbye. I'm sorry, Jenny. All right, Rusty, start marching. In the meantime, the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode toward the spot where, earlier in the day, they had seen Dave and Rusty. A campfire glowed on the trail ahead, and the masked man drew rain. Pull up, Tonto. Pull for the... Pull for the... Pull for the... Oh, there's someone still there. Oh, that heap funny. I was sure the place would be deserted. Maybe the other fella make camp there. Perhaps. Who's there? Come on, speak up. I heard you. He heard us stop, Kimosabe. Come on, Get him up, Scout. I got you both covered. We haven't drawn. Make a move for your guns. I'll let you have it. Take it easy, fellow. Just what are you two doing here? Who, Silver? Oh, oh, Scout. Mask. What the... Easy with that gun. Uh, Who are you? Step over here where I can see you better. All right, Rusty. Uh, what was that you called me? I happen to know... Get him, Tonto. Get, Get him. him. Hey, you missed. You leave I'll me take that gun. Oh, last year. There. Now, listen to me, Rusty. How did you know my name? That isn't all I know. I know that you deliberately took advantage of another man to get him arrested in your place. They, they arrested him? Whether they have yet, I don't know. I do know, however, the sheriff believes Dave to be you. He told Dave that for your father's sake, he wouldn't make an open arrest. But he also told Dave that he had no chance to escape. I was afraid of that. You mean you planned it. You knew he'd be arrested. Then with the case closed, you were confident you could go free. That ain't true. No? No, it ain't. I figured he might be arrested, yeah, but if he was, I never intended for him to go to jail. What did you intend? To break him free. Look, stranger... Can't you see the spot I was in? If I had gone home and been arrested, there'd have been nobody to help me out. But if he was arrested, then I'd be on hand to see that he never went to trial. A thin story, Rusty. I don't expect you to believe me, stranger. I got where I don't expect anybody to believe me no more. I've been framed for a killing I never done. Nothing I said was believed. Since then, all I've done is ride the owl hoop trails. But honest, stranger, Dave will never go to jail in my place. Why did you come here at all? Because Paul needed cash. I sold my place over in Arizona just before that killing come up. I was willing to risk being caught just to see that Paul and Jenny was took care of. But when I seen Dave, seen how much he looked like me, well, then I thought of this scheme. You say you were framed for a killing you didn't do? I was. But a fine chance I'd ever have a proven it with Rudd Mallory again, me. Rudd Mallory? Yeah, that's the fellow that bossed everything over my way. Biggest crook there ever was. Rusty. Yeah? 
I shouldn't believe a word of your story. Uh, shucks, I know you wouldn't. But I'm not sure. There are certain things that are in your favor. Well, what's that? You risk capture to bring money to your father. That part of your story I know to be true. And you do believe me? Wait. Another point is the fact that you stayed in the district. Frankly, I was surprised to find you still here. I doubt that a real crook would have remained. That also bears out what you've said. Stranger, you can't help me now, and I savvy that, but... But just your believing what I've told you, well, that's something I'll be grateful for a long time. Perhaps I can help you. Yes? Will you give yourself up to the law willingly? It doesn't look as though I got much choice. No, I'll leave the choice to you. Will you give yourself up, or will you let an innocent man be punished? It's a doggone hard thing to say. I know it is. But, well, stranger, I took a liking to Dave. He's a pretty regular hombre. Yeah, I'll give myself up. Good for you. Now, I give you my word, I'll help you if I can. You mean on that murder charge? I do. Well, how can you help me? If you've lied, if you're guilty, I can't. But if you're innocent, there must be a way to prove it. And Tonto and I have helped others just as bad off as you. What was that? Uh, Tonto? Uh, me, Tonto. You, you called your horse Silver. S stranger, who are you? Here's a bullet. Look at it. Silver? Yes. And, and you... You must be the Lone Ranger. I am, Rusty. The Lone Ranger? Let's get going. I know I'm innocent. And with you on my side, by God, there's others going to know it, too. The following morning, Jenny tried to explain the sudden disappearance of the young man Lige believed to be his son. Jenny? Jenny? Yes, Paul? Why didn't Rusty tell me he was going... Why couldn't he have let me know? Well, he he was in a real big hurry, Paul. No such hurry that he couldn't have least said goodbye. But, but you were asleep. We, we didn't want to waken you. <laughs> Seems mighty funny to me. What did you say took him away? Uh, uh, something about business. He he didn't say just what. He, he had to go to Miles City and... Miles City? Well, it was Denver the first time you told him. Well, I, I mean, he... He was going to Mile City and, and then to Denver. Oh. But he'll be back, Paul. There's no use being mad at him. Don't see him for 15 years. Shows up, spends the day, then leaves that very night without a how-do-you-do. Funny way for a man to act. But, Paul... <clears throat> see who it is. Yes, Paul. If it's word from Rusty, let me know what he's got to say for himself. Matt. Quick, step outside. I... Uh, who is it, Jenny? This concerns your brother. I've got to talk to you alone. It's nothing, Paul. I'll, I'll be right in. Where's Dave? Why, I... Don't waste time. It's important. He isn't here. The sheriff has him? How do you know? I said don't waste time. Yes, he has. Listen to me. Yes? I've got to talk fast. I want to cut across country and catch the sheriff before he can reach the county seat. Jenny, Dave will be back. Back? He will. Rusty, your brother, is surrendering in Dave's place. But I've got an idea that Rusty isn't guilty of the murder charged against him. That his innocence can be proven. Well, if it only could be. That's all for now. But wait. Don't worry. Everything will turn out all right. It has to. It just has yep. to. Hello, Silver! How are you? It was several hours later that Dave Williams, the sheriff, and his deputy were jogging down the trail toward the county seat. Dave was no longer handcuffed, but riding double with Jake, and with the sheriff always at his side, he had no chance to escape. Still stick to that crazy story about you not being Rusty Baylor, do you? And I always will. Oh, gone if you ain't a stubborn cuss. Keep a good, it'll do him. You can jail me. Yeah, and from the way things look, you can get me hanged, too. But the day will come when you'll find out what a mistake you made. I've made mistakes, young fella. But I don't reckon this will go down as one of them. You intend to hold me till I can get word from my omen, like I said? No, nope, that ain't none of my affair. That's up to the marshal when you're his prisoner. If he wants to delay your trial that long, why, that's his business. And knowing the marshal and how partial he is to certain justice, I wouldn't plan on it if I was you. Well, if I could just get my hands on that skunk that tricked me up. What? Well, what's ailing you? Me, I reckon, Sheriff. Well, uh, whoa, 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 there. Whoa, whoa. Oh, go on, am I seeing double? Uh, they're twin, Rusty. He's giving himself up, Sheriff. But I'm not taking orders from a masked man, an outlaw. Never mind that. Rusty will explain what happened and why. Are you willing to take his word for his identity? Why, my gosh, how could I do anything else after looking at him and him confessing? I haven't confessed to no murder, Sheriff. All I'm confessing is that I'm the real Rusty Baylor. <laughs> I'm so doggone mixed up, I don't know what to think. Well, it ain't the first time. <clears throat> well, here's where we change places again, Dave. I'll climb up where you are and 
You're welcome to take my horse. Rusty, I, I thought a heap of things about you. Things for which I'm, I'm apologizing oh, right now. Forget it. You didn't think nothing didn't have a warrant to. <laughs> Don't mind the company, do you, Jake? If I didn't have evidence it wasn't so, I think you was a fella that had been riding with me all along. Come on, Dave. We're returning to the Baylor place. <coughs> I hate to let Jenny's brother go to jail like this. Perhaps he won't. Rusty, I gave you my word, and I'll keep it. Friend, I ain't doubted it for a second. Come on, Silver. Get up there. Say, what'd that mask fella mean by giving you his word? <laughs> Don't you wish you knew? Couldn't you have jailed him for wearing a mask, Sheriff? Yeah, that would have been good. I wish you'd tried it. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been a sight to see. Uh -huh. I've said all I aim to, Sheriff. If we're going somewhere, let's get on our way. <laughs> Dave dismounted in front of the Baylor Ranch House and ran up the steps. Jenny! Dave! Oh, Dave! Hey, that you, Rusty? Hey, quit hugging your sister and explain what you mean by running away like you did. Don't tell him the truth now, Dave. Perhaps he won't ever need to know. Sure. Paul, well, I found out I, I didn't have to leave after all. And I'm here to tell you I was never so glad to get out of going somewhere in all my life. Come on! Where? Oh, now. To Arizona, Kimosabe. Oh? That's where the law is taking Rusty. Oh, him good fella. And he won't hang for a crime he didn't commit if we can help it. Hello, Silver! How are you? Just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>